Islamic State video claims to show burning death of Jordanian pilot. What's going on, guys? May Kaler, it's Wednesday, the 4th of February, 2015. The madness has utterly gone off the rails. I call BS on this video, if you haven't seen it. Let me give you this first link from the Washington Post. The Islamic State released a video on Tuesday that purports to show Jordanian pilot being burned alive by his captors. According to the SITE monitoring group, which follows militant websites, the 22-minute 22 22-minute 22 video titled Healing a Believer's Chests was released on social media even as Jordan struggled to learn his fate. I'm going to give you this link from the Washington Post, which is the official story. The second link will be to the video. I watched the entire video. It has a lot of disturbing images in it, but the part in question is the video that I will link. This, in my opinion, is CGI. Now, ISIS doesn't have the best reputation for coming up with these supposedly, you know, beheading videos where they, they hold the knife to someone's throat and then they fade to black and then they come back and then there's the head. These videos have been called, we've been called BS on these videos all along. Now we have a situation to where they've apparently upgraded to uh, HD Panavision cameras and multiple angles and there's there's fire that's clearly CGI. Some of it may be real, but some of that fire in that video is CGI. Watch the video at your own risk. I will put a link to it. You tell me what you think. I've watched it about 20 times. So ISIS now has a Hollywood production studio set up for these supposed uh, killing videos. This is absolute bullcrap nonsense, in my opinion. The video looks like a Hollywood production. looks like something out of Terminator 2. Pull it up and check it out. I don't know if that's a human being actually burning. If it is, my thoughts go out to his family, but I question all of this. This what 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 is this crap? This is a Hollywood production we're watching. I got a ton of stuff to give you here. ISIS, shown, ISIS is shown in matching digital camo and execution video. Uh, well, where, where might they have got that? That's from Marine Times. I'll put a link to it. Let me remind you. Let's go back to 2012. I got a link here. Listen to this. Jordanian officials recently revealed that members of the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, also known as ISIS, were trained in 2012 by U.S. military instructors at a secret base in Jordan. This whole thing is an inside job. I'll put a link to that. I'll give you this too. Muslim Brotherhood calls for a long, uncompromising jihad days after meeting with Obama State Department. Look at the sign they're holding up. Obama, you can't fool your people and the world anymore. You, you finance and back terrorism. Now, is that propaganda from the other side? Maybe so, but I think that's very... It's very interesting, all of this. Pentagon seeks to reload amid air war. Pentagon... Uh, wants to restock its arsenal of smart bombs and missiles after five months of airstrikes against ISIS while we're arming them at the same time. Put a link to this from USA Today. A lot of money to be had for the military-industrial complex, wouldn't you say? From AP, we got Jordan. Now, their response to this, Jordan executes two Al-Qaeda prisoners after IS kills pilot. I'll put a link to that. They were already on death row or something for terrorism charges. I got a second link on that. Jordan vows earth-shaking response to pilot slang. So I don't know if there are more to come or what, but just be advised. That's from France 24. Stars and Stripes. Now, while we got all this going on, we got the Russia-Ukraine situation. Look at this. Obama weighs sending lethal assistance to Ukraine. If we send lethal assistance to Ukraine, which will all be paid for by the American taxpayer, by the way, does that mean we declare war on Russia? What are your thoughts on that? I'll put this link from Stars and Stripes. And interesting... A follow-up to my last video, look at this from the South China Morning Post. India India and Russia back China's call for a new world order. What are they talking about, new world order? That's a crazy conspiracy theory. But it's their new world order, so are there two new world orders now? Are, the, are these the elites going at it? Or is it all, are they all, is this all one big, you know, are they all in it together? I'd love everyone's thoughts on this. I'm having... I'm having trouble trying to figure all this out. India and Russia back China's call for a new world order? I'll put a link to it. i got a lot more to give you here. Speaking of Russia, this, this is very interesting timing for this to come out. FBI's Cold War plans include martial law. Included martial law and rounding up 13,000 people. This comes out January 31. That's very interesting timing given everything else going on now. Keep that in mind when I give you this. U.S. governor warns of Muslim invasion of U.S. with Sharia colonization. January 28, 2015. Times are changing, people. 
We Are Change picked up the story. A realtor says paranoia is driving wealthy to buy homes in New Zealand. Now, the, the elite, in my opinion, have been playing this chess game for a long time with the world. If they're ready to pull the plug, maybe they're ready to do something drastic. Maybe they're going to do that big false flag, you know, Operation Blackjack Jericho. Maybe, maybe not. But this is an interesting article come out January 31. What are all the elite scrambling for all of a sudden? Your thoughts on that? Are they getting ready to do something big? They want, they want a safe haven somewhere? Uh, be advised, my friends, to the north. Canadian authorities break terrorist recruiting cell, arrest suspects. Here's a fresh article. More roundups going on. Be advised if you're in Canada. We Are Change also picked up the story. New regulations say passengers cannot fly without biometric identification card. That would definitely be included in the Operation Blackjack Jericho scenario, as you all know, if you've seen my videos on that in the past. And I will put one video at the bottom by We Are Change. They did a great video. Why ISIS really killed the Jordanian pilot. Luke's uh, take on all this, you may or may not agree with him. He does bring up some interesting points. I love your thoughts on all this. Please tell me, you know, if you did view the, the second link, the... Uh, supposed burning of this pilot does that not look like a hollywood production to you and if that actually is the man burning my heart goes out to him i'm i'm not trying to be insensitive anybody who knows me knows that but this is turning into what what do you what do we call this anymore we can't call this this is another level of madness and there's no word for what this is be vigilant you know stay on guard be aware of what's going on in the world and don't trust anything the TV's telling you. Please rate the video. Please pass it around. Share the links below. Share that link. If your friends and family will watch that video, ask them what their opinion is. Craziness, people. Craziness. All the links are below. You guys take care. Stay safe. Remain vigilant always. I will see you on the next one.